A Kansas City man who spent 43 years in prison for a crime he did not commit is now a free man. This afternoon, families and advocates are protesting the Missouri Attorney General for his handling of the Kevin Strickland case. KNBC 9's Bianca Beltran is live to explain that Strickland's exoneration is giving others hope. That's right, Emily, and the group gathered here by the Casey Freedom Project rallied outside of the Missouri Attorney General's office here in Kansas City. They have been following and are connected with several cases over the years of people who have been convicted of crimes they claim they did not commit, and they faced several legal roadblocks in seeking exoneration in those cases. And while they're glad to see Mr. Strickland freed, they are concerned about the pushback from the Missouri Attorney General's office in that case and are calling on him to give other cases a chance at justice under the new law that allowed for Strickland's release. There's no reason that Mr. Strickland, you know, that his attorneys had so much fight. They had so much resistance from the AG's office. Mr. Strickland could have been out months ago. Lamar Johnson could have been out and I reached out to Eric Schmidt's office for comment. They have not responded today to questions about how the attorney general views his role when it comes to wrongful convictions and whether he plans to challenge any future requests to review cases.